everyone. Happy Wednesday. Today I'm in my dining room again and I'm going to be putting together my dining room chairs that came. They came yesterday late afternoon so I didn't get started on them then but doing it today and actually I had filmed a little bit already showing the boxes that were sitting here but for some reason it messed up. So we're just going to be getting right into me opening up a box and putting one chair together. And then I have a small Walmart floral haul to show you. So let's get going with the unboxing. Well, here's how they turned out. I really like these. Now these chairs I got from Amazon and they're in my store. They also come with a more fancier back, but I like these, uh, this back, it's called ladder back. I think this blends in better with my existing furniture, this design. And then these are the legs. And I was trying to get something a little more squarish because I think the other chairs might be more round. Oh, I think we got Bailey here. <laughs> Bailey's checking it out. Because I don't have anything. Here's my buffet. I don't have anything really ornate, but they're more squarish. So I was just trying to do that. But I really like these. I'm not sure about the seat covers, though. I don't want to change them out or not. That eh, might be down the road. And here, I, I found my other soup train. I actually found two. I had one more box that I put a bunch of greenery on, and I thought it was just greenery in there. And I'm like, oh, there it is. <laughs> that was, this one's my one of my favorite ones besides my cabbage one, shaped like a cabbage. I really like that one. So I was kind of trying to figure out where it went to. So I did get um, an update today that my table has been shipped so all right well that's the chairs so I'm gonna have to mimic that on the furniture this little uh, distressed thing and it is brown I don't know if you can tell on here so I think that will work, work good when I do sanding of the edges after I paint it So I thought we'd go around the dining room here really quick. I had a few people say they wanted to see the whole dining room. Of course, it's not done yet, but I still haven't worked anymore on the hutch. I might be able to get to work on it for a Friday video. Not sure, I still gotta work on my topiaries. <laughs> That's gonna be a Monday video. And over here is the buffet, everything. So I have a really, really good sized dining room this time. And that's that white ceramic rooster. 
I saved the box and I put him in there and he came in the car with me. He was not going to get broken. He's going to go on the dining room table when I get that. And like I said, I don't have anything decorated, but I did, uh, I was getting all my uh, silver plated items out and this was my mother's tea set. It's a uh, quadruple plated and I love the patina on this. Uh, this did not look like this when I packed it up back in September. And I just put bubble wrap around it. So I love the colors. This is going to be great for fall. Speaking of fall, let's go over here and look at these flowers. You want to notice these? This is what I got at Walmart. I wanted to show it off really, really quick. This is a boxwood pick. These were 97 cents. This is huge for 97 cents. Look at that. And I end up getting six of those. Not sure what I'm going to do with these yet. I love this olive stem. It just says olive on it. These were three dollars. This is great for Tuscan and fall. Can't wait to use those. I got six of those. Then they had this artificial dried look. I don't know if this is focusing enough. Sunflower stem. I mean, these are really, really pretty. Bring it over here. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? $1.98 for the stem. Yeah, $1.98. I took all of them. They had, they only had eight. I would have taken more. <laughs> At $1.98. I can't wait to use these. Very Tuscan. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> Hopefully it didn't scare anybody. And fall. Well, now I am so excited to get my table now that I got all my chairs together and I have to tell you it took me less than 10 minutes to do one chair and I did this all by myself my husband was gone when I started on it so I just got them all done got everything cleaned up it took me about an hour and 45 minutes total and that is with unpacking them to putting them together and cleaning up and I did have to vacuum the carpet a few times there was one thing I wanted to share because I thought this was so funny when I read the instructions for the first one. These are so easy to put together because then you don't even need the instructions after you do the first one. Very first thing it says is, note, units should be assembled by two or more people. I'm like, uh, for a chair, you need to have two or more people. So maybe if I had five people here with me, we could all get the chairs done really quick. Each one take a chair, but no, it's saying unit. So <laughs> you can do it by yourself, trust me. Very simple. And like I said, these are in my Amazon store, and so is the table. Can't wait to get the table. Then I will get started painting on the hutch and the buffet over here. So I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to have a video up for Friday. I'm, if I can get over here, I got to work on my DIY topiaries that I'm doing a collaboration on. And I'm doing that with Melanie Thompson and Antoinette from Decorating Ant's Place. We're all going to be doing a DIY topiaries, and then we're going to decorate wherever we want to in the house. And I'm just going to put mine over here. I'm going to replace those that are here, and I'm going to decorate the top of my buffet for the video. So i got to get started on those still. And Sunday, I'm going to be going over next door to my neighbor Heather's house with a few other neighbors in the neighborhood, and we're going to do those fake bakes. So I get to learn to do that, and you know I am I'm not a baker. Uh, my idea of baking is opening up a box. <laughs> uh, I'm more of a cook than a baker, so because I don't eat a lot of sweets at all. So, but um, I did buy some piping tips and some bags in a cheap container of icing because I'm going to kind of practice doing like the icing because I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing cupcakes and I'm going to practice with the tips and everything because I've never done that before. I can ice a cake, I've done that, but not any of the decorative piping. So I'm going to be practicing on that probably on Saturday before I go over there. So like I said, I might have a video up on Friday with the hutch over here. If not, it, you'll definitely see the one on Monday. So I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.